RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, slut? Guess they don't call it Drama Lab for nothing. What to say, what to say. Playing the part of the bitter, passed over, talentless hack, VC. That's the nicest backpack I've seen in my life. Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. This poster definitely says... <laughs> something. Hey now. Sharing is caring. To internet or not to internet? I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. <laughs> Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the, the Tempest. Should be, life is drama. Sweet collar, Pepe. Rachel Amber, drama star and guardian angel. I still can't believe that was her last night. Save my life. Get some ink. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this ship? Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So? Did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. I'll 
let you finish changing now. <laughs> Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. Respect. Let's get the hell out of here. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or...? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Rachel wants me to pull up. A chair? Maybe one of these crates. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks out. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. There's my chair. Thing's heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. There's my chair. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? So, um, what is wrong with you? What? You're acting nervous. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name is Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Uh, 
I didn't mention it earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm good with people, yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. Oh, <laughs> shit. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. Let's do something fun. Okay, I'm listening. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie? Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? You seem more like a Cali girl to me. Damn, Price. Not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I've only ever lived in Oregon, so nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Okay, your turn, Price. First fact, right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. I'm secretly the lead guitarist of an all-girl Misfits cover band called The Misfits. Impressive. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Uncle Swash. Plunder secret treasure. So, pirate. Obviously true. 
Like you said. Arr. Okay. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. Well, <laughs> sure. It's not for everyone. I get that. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. So, let's talk about this lead guitarist business. The business of show. As much as I'd love to be a groovy to your all-girl cover band, The Misfits. I'm gonna have to call Lie on that one. You don't think I can rock? On the contrary, you absolutely rock. The problem is, your hand is smooth, no calluses. You don't play guitar. Pity, too. You'd look hot on stage. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is... something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey. Thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life, you'd understand. No, I get that. On the other hand, I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Hey, wanna listen?
bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it! a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? that you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh yeah? Let's see what you got. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her.